following video demonstrates how simple copy and paste functions are used within Enforce. First, we'll look at observations. Here I have two jobs representing two halves of a travis. For the travis to compute properly, they must both be attached to the same job. So to do that, if I highlight a job, select its setups, right click and choose copy. I can then click the first job, right click, paste them directly in. I should then be able to compute the travis, no problem at all. Which I can do. And we can see we now have observations. So the next logical step would be to generate a model. So let's do that. But I'm going to deliberately not add the survey data to the model. I'll use copy and paste instead. So if I highlight the model, right click and do new, go to normal model, call it test, and press OK. You see now we have a blank model, nothing in it. So if I go up to a, a setup, maybe setup A, select everything by hitting the button in the top left hand corner. If I then right click and choose copy and come down to test, focus on the first row, the paste, act, paste icon becomes active, there we go, in they come. So that's the first setup done. If I select the second, select everything, right click, choose copy, come down to the model. If I scroll down to the bottom, I can paste them straight in, but I can also, instead of doing paste, which actually paste into where I'm currently selected, choose append, and they'll automatically go on the end. The same is true for copying and pasting from coordinates. If I select a coordinate job, select everything, right click and choose copy, come down to model, scroll down, right click and append, they go in. Undo that. Okay, so copying and pasting reduced observations and coordinates is very simple. You just select the data, copy it, and paste it to where you want it to go. The same is also true for CAD information. Here I have a CAD drawing which I've imported from a DXF file. If I zoom in, we can see some buildings here. Maybe I want to isolate this set of buildings here. I can do that by first of all querying it. Enforce tells us that we're on the layer building outline. Close the graphical view, find that layer, right click and copy it. If I then create a new CAD model, call it demo, OK that, and then right click on the right hand side and press paste, and it comes. If I go to the camera on that, and zoom out, I'll then quickly delete the buildings that I'm not interested in. OK. OK, so we've removed the unwanted buildings from our uh, layer. For users of uh, Professional and Designer, we can actually copy and paste that layer further and put it straight into a model. If I highlight it, right click it, choose Copy. Come down to my theoretical pond design, which I have here prepared already. Go to the camera. Here we can see the theoretical pond outline. Now I can paste it into the dedicated CAD which is a CAD layer that exists in tandem with the model so that if you transform the model the CAD will also go with it. It's also where the threaded contours are saved. I'll access it by going to the yellow pencil icon. Maximize my screen. And then choose edit and come down to paste. And this will paste in the CAD that I've just copied. There we go. If I close down the dedicated CAD, we're now looking at the model. So we've got the DTM menu, the features, but we can also see the CAD information integrated directly within the model. If I export a DXF from here, I don't have to worry about using a drawing to glue things together. Everything that we see in this one model will be exported in the same DXF file. So that was importing, or rather, copying data from a CAD model into a normal model. We can also do the reverse. We can also take CAD generated in a model, perhaps these 
threaded contours that we see here, copy them out of the model and put them back maybe in a DXF that we previously imported. To do that we go back to the dedicated CAD back cloth, and maximize my screen. Now I'm going to query the layers. Okay. Not surprisingly, all those contours are actually saved to the contours layer. So if I go to the layers menu, find the contours layer with its 30 elements, and select copy, that then puts those on the clipboard. If I close that view down, and then the models, if I then go back perhaps to my original DXF file, right click, paste, in they come. If I now go to the camera, we can see the, co the contours copied out of the model, now also living within the original DXF that we imported. And that concludes copy and pasting information within Enforce.